Welcome to the Clapper Racing YouTube channel. Another weekend, pretty day. Just uh, cleaned up the old dually. It's looking good. Um, I believe today I'm going to take the RX-7 to the track and uh, dust her off a little bit. Um, got a few things to do today. I'm going to take this tire, which is completely trashed, off the tractor. Go get a new one put on. I'm surprised these lug nuts come off. Here's an example of one. But I sprayed them with PB Blaster for about a week uh, every couple days, and uh, they come right off, surprisingly. And the studs are in good shape. So I'm going to take these tire here and uh, go get a regular old three rib tractor tire put on it. And um, I'm going to pull the cover off of this thing and swap the slicks on it, load it up on the trailer, and get it ready for tonight. Um, I don't know. It should be. It's decent weather. It's not extremely hot and everything, so it should be a good day for it. I think uh, I'll probably take it easy on it and get the tune right a little bit more. Um, last time I did, I did the same thing, and like I said, I ran 11.2, um, kind of babying it, but uh, the, the tune was a little bit off, and I kind of got upset because the there was two cars that wrecked, and it took them a while to clean it up, so I kind of left and uh, only made two passes, but um so that's that's the plan for today and uh hopefully i can get some good footage of the car and uh, give y'all something to watch just filled up rexy with some fresh e85 from the barrel back there and uh, i was going to show you what i did to the trailer couldn't get the trailer lights to work <clears throat> and i uh, thought it was the truck but did some voltage readings and everything seemed fine coming from the truck but there was a uh plug behind this light here that had come unplugged and it wasn't getting the full voltage loop to all the um, lights but um, put this battery box on there uh, this cut truck here had two batteries in it and it wasn't only using but one I'm not real sure why it had two so I pulled that one out it was an AC Delco battery I charged it up and put it in the tractor I took the tractor battery and put it in here so now I've got a battery here I've got this little pigtail coming out where I can uh, hook it up to a battery tender, charge it up whenever I need to. And um, so now I don't have to steal the battery out of the RX-7 if it breaks to winch it up. I can just hook it up and winch it up on the trailer. And uh, so that's one good thing I did. Um, getting ready to swap the tires out, put the uh, bias plies on the RX-7, and then... She'll be ready to load on the trailer and take it to the track tonight. Uh, like I said, probably won't set no records tonight, but I just want to go out and have some fun. As long as she don't break, I'll be good. I know I say that every time, but really, I mean, I have a good time when I take this car to the track. It's fun. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it don't have to be. So I'm going to get started putting these old uh, fatty fatties on here. And... Um, Go ahead and get her race ready.
desired. Got a 184 60 foot, which is terrible. Spun immediately. 51330, ran a 75, and then ran 113 at 129. So it's got the top end. So we'll try it again later. All right, trying to make pass number two. Hopefully, it'll be better than pass number one. Spun a lot on pass number one, but um, I took some fuel out. It was running really rich, like 10 4 air fuel. Um, and uh, I tried to make it a little more stable in the boost. It kind of fell off to about 14 pounds of boost. So I'm trying to make it stable with like 17 pounds all the way across. So we'll see how that works. But uh, waiting in line now. So um, hopefully, we'll get a run off here in just a minute. Can't get it in any gear. What? Can't get it in any gear. Help me push it over there. Yeah, help me push it over there. <laughs> we all in bad luck. <laughs> At least mine's something simple. What do you do, Jimmy? I, I, <laughs> I, uh, I took the air cleaner Thank off. Thank you. I took the air cleaner off. We got to take. I took the air cleaner off. We got to take the little, the little gasket off. So it sucked it in the air cleaner. And it stayed wide open. I was trying to slow down, it was like, da -da -da. I'm like, what the hell? Oh. I don't know why I can't get it in eight years. It's locked out. Bottle. I was like, fuck, there's so much. It's lucky it didn't go in. I know, I am. 
That would have been good. I forgot to take that off. I took the air thinner off and I forgot to take that off. It shifts now. What was it? I wonder why. I don't know. It did it at the line, too. What did I run? Did you see? Or? I didn't see. Man, did you start to skate at the big end? Yeah. I was skating. I ain't running. I'm not either. I'm done. It's skating. Man, that thing did was you all see me over. skating? I didn't see you. I no. was skating at the big end. I was like, ooh. And then it got better. I was like, okay, I'll stay in it. Yeah, this it was all over the place. You okay, all right, I think? I think so. We'll see. No, no, I had to winch, winch it on the trailer. Pretty disappointing track night. Um, I didn't film anything last night because I was loading the car up and everything, but uh, <clears throat> just unloaded it. And uh, it's shifting right now, but it's really hard to get into gears. So I think the T56 ate something in itself, um, from what I can tell. Sometimes it'll go into gears and sometimes it won't, as you can see in the video last night after the burnout. Um, on the second pass, it wouldn't let me put it into any gears, and then magically it fell into the first. So I said, screw it, I'm gonna try to make a pass. And it made the pass, and I got to the end of the track, pulled it in neutral after the pass, and it um, wouldn't let me in any gears anymore. So as you can see, I got them to help me push it off to the side so cars could get around me, and then uh, it went into gear again after I cut the car off, and I kind of cranked it up in first gear. Um, and then I could, once I got it rolling, it would start shifting again. So training's going to have to come out. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. Um, I've wanted to put a glide in here for a while, but I really wanted to run a nine with the T56. Um, but, and, uh, honestly, I thought the notchiness and stuff of the T56 was just my driving. You know, I thought it was just, I just can't shift good, but apparently the T56 has had, has seen better days and I've band-aid repaired it a couple times, but it really needs to be just gone all the way through. Um, but that's probably going to be it for this video here. I got some deciding to do and obviously the car is not going to streetcar takeover because I can't run it like this. Um, I think with a glide in this car and some 327 gears, which I actually have a set in the garage, I think this car would freaking fly, but I don't know. We'll have to see. I really love the street ability of the T56 and everything. So got some decision making to do i might just uh put a glide in here and then go through the t56 slowly um on the side and just keep the drive shaft where i could just throw it back in if i wanted to one day but we'll see i appreciate you watching guys and uh hopefully you liked it thank you